Hello everyone, my name is Jake Wold and I am an undergraduate student studying mechanical engineering at Bradley University. My name is Josh Beck and I'm also an undergraduate mechanical engineering student at Bradley. Today we will be talking about our literature review on how nanofluid properties affect the nanofluid thermal conductivity. The reason this topic is, was investigated is because fluids that quickly transport energy are imperative to engineering systems. It follows that this research is applicable to many different industries, including automotive, aerospace, HVAC, and automation. Using nanofluids could allow for more energy efficient and sustainable design solutions in many applications. Therefore, methods to improve the thermal conductivity of nanofluids should be investigated. The most straightforward way to enhance the effective thermal conductivity of nanofluids is to alter their characteristics. The properties that were investigated were in order, particle concentration, particle size, the use of surfactants, the nanofluid temperature, the base fluid chosen, the particle shape, and lastly, the particle material. So starting with the effects of particle concentration, it was determined that an increase in the number of particles yields an increase in the thermal conductivity. This effect was found to be more prominent at higher temperatures. The reason behind this phenomenon is that the higher number of particles causes an increase in the frequency of particle collisions. As a result, energy transport takes place quicker within the fluid. However, care must be taken to not add an excessive amount as this will decrease the zeta potential of the nanoparticles. In other words, the particles are more prone to aggregation and more likely to fall out of suspension. Here you can see thermal conductivity as a function of temperature for sets of AL203 water data. Clearly, the nanofluid with the highest particle concentration of 0.2% by volume has the highest thermal conductivity for all temperatures. This is followed by the 0.1% concentration and lastly the 0.05% concentration. These results support the conclusion that thermal conductivity increases with an increase in particle concentration. Next, the effects of particle size were examined. A significant amount of conflicting information was found in existing literature but it's generally believed that a smaller particle size gives a higher thermal conductivity. This is for two reasons. For one, smaller particles have an easier time moving around within the nanofluid, which results in more collisions. The smaller particles also have a larger surface area to volume ratio, which facilitates more heat transfer. Here are some more sets of AL203 water data, which show that the smallest particle size of 11 nanometers has the highest thermal conductivity, followed by 47 nanometers and lastly, 150 nanometers. Another graph is now shown that also reinforces the idea of increasing thermal conductivity with decreasing particle size, with the 29.2 nanometer nanofluid being improved over the 50 nanometer fluid. The effects of surfactants were also studied. It was found that the effect is largely dependent on the surfactant concentration used. Specifically at low concentrations, Surfactants improve the thermal conductivity since it better disperses the nanoparticles. However, at sufficiently high concentrations, the surfactant can cover the surface of the nanoparticles, acting as a resistor to heat transfer. Now shown are various sets of TiO2 water nanofluid. One contains no surfactant, and the others contain sodium dodecyl sulfate and acetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide as surfactants. The concentration used was 0.39% which was low enough to observe an improvement in thermal conductivity compared to the original nanofluid in both cases. This supports the conclusion that surfactants can improve nanofluid thermal conductivity. Next, the effects of temperature are discussed. There is wide agreement within the academic community that as the nanofluid temperature increases, so does the thermal conductivity. This is a result of the intermolecular bonds between base fluid molecules being weakened, thus allowing the nanoparticles to move more freely. This effect was found to be more substantial in nanofluids with higher particle concentrations. Here is a figure showing data for Fe304 nanoparticles suspended in a mixture of 40% ethylene glycol and 60% water. Clearly, all nanofluids have increasing thermal conductivity with temperature, and the effect is more pronounced in nanofluids with higher particle concentrations. This agrees with the aforementioned conclusion. When researching the effects of the base fluid used, it was determined that a base fluid with a higher thermal conductivity resulted in a nanofluid with a higher thermal conductivity. The majority of the research done has used either water, ethylene glycol, propylene glycol, or any of the mixture, any mixture of the three as base fluids. 
Of these possibilities, it is widely accepted that pure water, which has the highest base with thermal conductivity of what's listed, gives the best enhancement. Now shown are sets of thermal conductivity data for 0.2% Fe304 nanofluids with different base fluids. Pure water clearly has the highest thermal conductivity, followed by the base fluids with 80% water and lastly 60% water. This strongly supports the conclusion that water yields the highest nanofluid thermal conductivity. Moving on to the effects of particle shape, the amount of existing research is very limited. However, it is believed that decreasing the sphericity of the nanoparticles leads to an increase in the thermal conductivity. This is because the less spherical the particles are, the higher their surface area to volume ratio, thus facilitating more heat transfer. Lastly, as for particle material, it is commonly hypothesized that nanoparticle materials with higher thermal conductivities result in higher nanofluid thermal conductivities. While there does exist a significant amount of data that agrees with this statement, there is also a significant amount of data that disagrees. It was found that researchers commonly use materials such as metal oxides, aluminum, silver, and nanodiamonds. Now shown are data sets of nanofluids with 1% particle concentration and 60% water, 40% ethylene glycol as a base fluid with varying particle material. Over the range of temperatures, the nanofluid with the highest thermal conductivity varies, making it difficult to make any clear conclusions. Again, more data sets are shown for nanofluids with 1% particle concentration and pure water as the base fluid. The Fe304 nanofluid clearly has the highest thermal conductivity. However, nanodiamond has a much higher thermal conductivity than Fe304. Therefore, the effect of particle material on nanofluid thermal conductivity is inconclusive. Briefly, the concept of thermal conductivity prediction based on nanofluid characteristics was studied. The resulting mathematical models formulated by researchers aim to accurately capture the effects of the characteristics that were previously discussed on the nanofluid thermal conductivity. Some of these models were adapted from analogous models that predicted similar parameters. One of the most common and earliest examples of this is Maxwell's model for electrical conductivity of a two-phase mixture. Other models are derived using heat transfer models or empirically. Currently, no model agrees with the majority of the experimental data available. Two examples of thermal conductivity models will be treated here. One of the most simple examples is the Sundar et Alia model, which is a simplified effective medium theory model aided by empirically determined constants. It solely captures the effects of particle concentration and base fluid thermal conductivity, making it simple in nature. Another example is the Patel et Alia model, found empirically, which considers the effects of particle material, base fluid thermal conductivity, concentration, temperature, and particle size. So in conclusion, methods to enhance the thermal conductivity of the nanofluid by altering its characteristics were successfully investigated using existing literature. It was found that more research is needed on the effects of nanoparticle material, shape, and size. And ultimately, design engineers can change the properties of the nanofluid to optimize its performance in an engineering system. Now shown is a summary of the effects of nanofluid characteristics. As the particle concentration increases, the thermal conductivity increases. This is only up until the particles begin to aggregate or fall out of suspension. Next, the thermal conductivity seemed to increase with decreasing particle size, however, more research is required. Using a surfactant enhanced the thermal conductivity only when the concentration was low enough to not cover the surface of the nanoparticles. Thermal conductivity also consistently increased with increasing temperature, and this effect was more prominent in nanofluids with higher particle concentrations. Choosing the base fluid with the highest thermal conductivity will yield a high nanofluid thermal conductivity. Using non-spherical particles should also increase the thermal conductivity, however, more research is needed to confirm this. Lastly, it is inconclusive what effect particle material has on the thermal conductivity. Our references are listed here, and this concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening.